Well, as you can see, I'm here on the practice range, which is a good thing. Uh, this is an area where all golfers, including myself, could benefit by spending a little bit more time out here practicing. Uh, one of the key elements to practice, the old saying used to be practice makes perfect. Uh, that's been changed a bit to perfect practice makes perfect. So the key is, if we're going to spend some time out here on the practice range, we want it to be as productive as it can be. Uh, one of the biggest things I hear as an instructor or any instructor hears from students as they come in for lessons is, I can do pretty good on the driving range sometimes, but when I go out on the golf course, I struggle a lot. And they want to know how they can take what they can do out here and bring that over to the golf course, which would obviously result in shooting some better scores and enjoying the game a bit more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a few things that you can do when you're out on the practice range, again, to make your practice time very productive and beneficial for you. One of the keys to practicing efficiently is to make sure when you come out to the driving range, warm up properly, stretch out a bit, and it's usually a good idea to begin hitting your golf shots by going to the shorter, higher iron to start with. Uh, again, a lot of people when they come out want to go right to that driver, which nothing wrong with practicing that, but it's not the best club to get your uh, practice session off to the good start. So I've selected a, a nine iron right here, a nine iron, a wedge. I want to hit some shorter swings, kind of loosen up. Uh, and then as I progress into my practice routine, I'm going to work my way downward toward the longer clubs and uh, finish that way. Uh, what I don't want to do again is get stuck where I'm hitting one club all the time. We all know that when you're on the golf course, we're not hitting one shot over and over. We're hitting a variety of shots and I want to try to make my practice routine match what I'm going to do on the golf course as closely as possible. And that's, that's how we transfer what we can do out on the range over to that golf course. So when I'm hitting balls in just a minute or two, I'm going to make sure that I'm changing clubs every now and then, that I'm stepping away from the shot, and I want to make sure that I'm not getting caught up in the trap of just hitting one ball and raking another golf ball over and just kind of getting into a swing hit, swing hit mentality. I want to make sure I focus and pay attention to each shot just as I would on the golf course. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to start out my practice routine uh, with some smoother swings. I'm going to start out with a high numbered iron. I've grabbed a nine iron here. And what I want to make sure I'm doing while I'm practicing as I would on the golf course is I want to make sure that I establish a target, something that I'm hitting toward. I don't want to just get where I'm hitting golf balls out into the you know, 200 yard wide driving range with no idea really of a target. So make sure you select a target. Uh, what I like to do, as many golfers do, again, trying to make my practice as productive as possible, is to help with that alignment because that's something that we all can get a little bit off track on at times, is I'll take a golf club or a couple of golf clubs. I brought a couple of clubs here and I'm gonna use these, I'm gonna put these on the ground. I'm going to set one club on the outside of the golf ball. and get that aligned with my target. And I'm going to set another golf club inside the golf ball. And what I've done here effectively is give myself something visual so I can check my alignment. Once I've set my alignment for my little workstation here, I'm gonna start out and just hit a couple of smooth swings and get a feel for it uh, again. What I want to make sure I'm doing is as I'm hitting these golf balls, if I'm successful, I want to feel what I'm doing correctly. If I hit a little point where I miss hitting a few shots, then I want to step away, refocus on what I want to accomplish if I'm working on something in my swing, and then step back in and hit some shots. So I'm just going to start out with a few smooth swings here with my nine iron. Again, I'm focusing on my good setup routine. I want to be nice and relaxed. I've got a target in mind, and I'm going to execute my shot. And again, as mentioned, I want to make sure I pay attention to each shot. I don't want to just rake one ball over and get into that kind of one ball every second hitting routine. So I'm going to hit one more shot here.
and after I've hit some nine irons and gotten the muscles loosened up, I might stretch out. And again, work my way down on the clubs a bit, maybe to something like a six or a seven iron. I'm gonna hit some shots with that. And then eventually work my way down to maybe something where I get to the driver at the end and then maybe finish up as many uh, good players do back with that high numbered club, hit a few more wedges or nine irons to finish up my practice session. Again, the key is pay attention to what you're doing out here. You're trying to make your practice time productive and beneficial so you can carry your ideas here out onto the golf course. Change clubs frequently. Don't get caught up where you're hitting one club. You know, your whole bucket of balls is stuck with one club, especially the driver. Vary your club selection. We all know when you're on the golf course, you're gonna be changing clubs frequently. So let's try to do that out here. And lastly, when I'm done here on the practice range, I'm going down to the putting green. I'm gonna work on my short game. I wanna put some practice time in there. So don't neglect your short game. Put some time in up here. If you stay focused, make your practice productive. It's gonna help you bring that game over to the golf course, which results in lower scores.